Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received congratulatory cables from uh, their Majesties and Highnesses leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations and the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783. The anniversary of joining the UN as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The leaders expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the King and to Bahrain and its people of further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. He wished His Majesty many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, reiterating his loyalty. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and hailed his efforts and contributions in the Kingdom's development. He expressed pride in the achievements of His Royal Highness in all fields to meet the aspirations of the citizens, wishing him health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the passing of the Martyrs' Day. Her Royal Highness a renewed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his support for Bahraini women through his long-sighted vision, which has yielded many achievements. He expressed hope to continue on the path of achievements for Bahraini women under the leadership of His Majesty to attain further glory for the Kingdom. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks to Her Royal Highness, lauding her efforts in leading Bahraini women through the SCW and their contributions in the Kingdom's development and the achievements that the people of Bahrain aspire for. He prayed that the celebrations will bring further pride and progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the passing of the Martyrs' Day. His Highness expressed his sincere congratulations and wishes of health and happiness to His Majesty and to Bahrain and his people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the passing of the Martyrs' Day. The Field Marshal extended his sincere congratulations and wishes of health and happiness to His Majesty and to Bahrain and its people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of good wishes from the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of joining the UN as a full member, and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated with their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries, in the opening session of the 42nd GCC Summit, led by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud at Dar'iya Palace in Riyadh.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم At the beginning of the session, His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince delivered a speech in which he hailed the Council's landmark achievements since its establishment, which contributed to enhancing the GCC joint work and bolstered its standing at all levels. خلال رئاستها للدورة الحادية والأربعون لمجلس التعاون أصحاب الجلالة والسمو نجتمع اليوم بعد مرور أربع عقود من تأسيس المجلس في ظل تحديات عديدة تواجه المنطقة تتطلب منا المزيد من, التنس من تنسيق الجهود بما يعزز ترابط وأمن واستقرار دولها وفي هذا الصدد نشير للرؤية التي قدمها خالد حرم الشريفين حفظه الله لمجلس التعاون ونؤكد على أهمية تنفيذ ما تبقى من خطوات واستكمال مقومات الوحدة الاقتصادية ومنظومتي الدفاع والأمن المشترك بما يعزز دورنا الأقليمي والدولي من خلال توحيد مواقفنا السياسية وتطوير الشركات مع المجتمع الدولي يسرني الآن ندعو صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك ملكة الحرين الشقيقة لإلقاء كلمته Then His Majesty the King delivered the following speech أصحاب الجلالة والسم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نود في البداية النعرض عن خالص تمنياتنا بالتوفيق والنجاح لأعمال القمة في دورتها الحالية بقيادة المملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة كما يسعدنا أن نشيد بنتائج الزيارات الميمونة الأخيرة التي قام بها صاحب السمو الملك الأمير محمد بن سلمان آل سعود ولي العهد حفظه الله لدول مجلس التعاون الخليجي والتي مهدت لعقد هذه القمة خير تمهيد وجاءت تطلعاتها وتوجهاتها معبرة ومؤكدة على ما تتولاه المملكة الشقيقة من دور كبير لتغريب وجهات النظر ولتجاوز التحديات وتقديم الحلول المطلوبة مع متطلبات مرحلة العمل الحالية وصولا إلى ما نتمناها جميعا لدولنا من رفعة وازدهار وتغارب لا بد منه لتحقيق المزيد من المنعة والاستقرار ولا يفوتنا في هذا السياق بأن نشير إلى حرص مملكة البحرين خلال فترة ترأسها للدورة الحادية والأربعين لمجلس التعاون على متابعة تنفيذ أجندة العمل المشتركة محققة بذلك الكثير من الخطوات الهامة التي تصب في مصلحة عمل المجلس لما يسهم في الارتقاء بمسيرته وبهذه المناسبة نود التأكيد على أهمية الالتزام بمضامين إعلان العلا الذي نص على التنفيذ الكامل لرؤية خادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود وفق جدول زمني محدد وبمتابعة دقيقة للعمل الثنائي بين دول المجلس وإزالة كافة الأمور العالقة بما في ذلك استكمال مقومات الوحدة الاقتصادية والبرامج التنموية المشتركة والمنظمتين الدفاعية والأمنية وتنسيق المواقف لتعزيز تضامن واستقرار دول المجلس ووحدة صفها وبما يرسخ دورها الإقليمي بالتعاون مع المجتمع الدولي والمنظمات الإقليمية والدولية وفي الختام يسرنا أن نتقدم بالشكر والتقدير للأمانة العامة لمجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية وفريق عملها بقيادة أمينها العام معالي الدكتور نايف بن فلاح بن مبارك الحجرة لما يبذلونه من جهود حثيثة للارتقاء بعمل المجلس وكذلك إسهامهم الواضح في الإعداد لأعمال هذه القمة المباركة وستبقى أمالنا كبيرة للمزيد من الاتحاد بعون الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also participated in the closing session of the summit. The GCC Secretary General Dr. Naif Al Hadraf then read the final communique. Oman's Deputy Premier for Cabinet Affairs Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said also delivered a speech as Oman will host the next summit. The Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, then concluded the 42nd summit of the Supreme Council of the GCC. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended a dinner banquet that was hosted by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud at Al Jiraiya Palace in Riyadh in honor of the Gulf leaders on the occasion of the 42nd Summit of the Supreme Council of the GCC. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain after leading the Kingdom's delegation to the 42nd session of the Supreme Council of the GCC, which concluded yesterday in Riyadh. His Majesty the King was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, had earlier departed Riyadh. Before His Majesty's departure, editors in chief of local newspapers greeted His Majesty the King. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and President of the Board of Directors of the National Space Science Agency, NSSA, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, the CEO of NSSA, Dr. Mohammed Al Asiri, and Bahrain's space team comprised of a number of youth caterers working at the agency and contributing to the Bahraini satellite launch project. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as well as the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the upcoming launch of the first Bahraini UAE satellite under the name Light One after His Majesty's first light book to be released at the end of December, which is a major achievement for the kingdom implemented by a number of Bahraini youth qualified and skilled in space science. His Highness hailed the achievement which fulfilled the vision of His Majesty the King and is an implementation of his directives to develop space science efforts. He also commended the efforts of NSSA in completing the project which affirms the Bahraini youth's patriotic spirit and determination to raise the kingdom's status and further its scientific and technical process. He noted uh, the constructive cooperation with the UAE, which is part of the history brotherly of brotherly bilateral relations. For his part, the Minister of Transportation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his unlimited support to the agency's efforts and activities to implement the agency's strategic plan and achieve the vision of His Majesty the King. He expressed pride in the efforts of Bahrain Space Team. The CEO of NSSA also expressed pride in the national project, affirming that the agency supports national competencies. The chairman of the board of trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the launch of the book, The First Vision Salman, under his patronage at the Bahrain Center for Strategic, International and Energy Studies, Dirasat. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman emphasized the kingdom's commitment to advance its comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and supported by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown 
Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman highlighted that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's visions have contributed to realizing His Majesty the King's aspirations on all levels, benefiting the Kingdom and its citizens. His Highness noted that the continued prosperity and development achieved for the Kingdom as a result of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's wide-ranging efforts and leadership. In this regard, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman further noted that the Kingdom's national achievements set out by Team Bahrain reflect His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's forward-looking vision. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman expressed his gratitude and appreciation to Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Dirasat, on the efforts exerted in documenting the Kingdom's comprehensive milestones achieved by the continued support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the service of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman also commended Dirasat's efforts in furthering research studies and scientific publications in Bahrain. For his part, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed highlighted that the publication transcends research and documentation in preserving the identity of the Kingdom of Bahrain to present the inspiring leadership and capabilities of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to future generations. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed emphasized that the book achieves the key milestones or archives the key milestones achieved by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister since assuming his roles entrusted by His Majesty the King aimed at furthering the Kingdom's comprehensive development, consolidating the values of citizenship and instilling the rule of law in line with its progressive national action charter. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa held a telephone call with his Lebanese counterpart Judge Bassam Mulawi following the holding of a press conference that attacked the kingdom and its people. The minister affirmed that propagating such attacks against Bahrain affects Lebanon negatively as well and that these parties cooperate with foreign powers that interfere in the kingdom's internal affairs. He affirmed that these actions should not take place at the expense of Lebanon's interests and expressed appreciation for his counterpart's interest in the matter by taking the necessary actions. The two sides discussed the bilateral security cooperation and ways of avoiding such transgressions in the future. For his part, the Lebanese minister affirmed his keenness on the safety and security of the kingdom and on keeping Lebanon from becoming a platform for hate against the Arab states, especially those of the GCC. On the occasion of Bahrain Police Day, the Muharraq government, in the presence of the governor Salman bin Hindi al Manai, organized a field show with the participation of a number of the Ministry of Interior's directorates. The event began at the security block in Muharraq Market, passing through Sheikh Hamad Street to the Casino Park with a remarkable audience of school students, as well as citizens and residents who expressed appreciation to Bahrain's police and gratitude for their efforts to maintain security and protect lives and properties. They also express admiration for the show and its role in enhancing the spirit of citizenship and loyalty. Under the patronage of Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Bahrain's embassy in London held a series of ceremonies to mark Bahrain's celebration of its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The ceremonies were attended by a number of ministers and members of the British government, Bahraini students, and citizens residing in the United Kingdom. Many members of the House of Commons and Lords, the ambassador of the custodian of the two holy mosques in London, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid bin Bandar bin Sultan bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and members of the diplomatic corps of brotherly countries, in addition to the friends of Bahrain from various intellectual institutions and British newspapers. The ambassador welcomed the attendees during the celebrations, pointing to the depth of the historical relations linking Bahrain with the United Kingdom for over 200 years, expressing 
Bahrain's pride in the advanced level reached by the joint bilateral relationship between the two kingdoms. He also congratulated the leadership and people of Bahrain on its national days in light of the national, regional and international development achievements and successes and the, the country's undergoing, wishing Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity. During the celebrations, a video of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, was presented to all attendees in which he delivered a speech stressing the depth of the strong historical relations that bind the two friendly kingdoms, expressing his aspirations to promote and develop those relations for the interests of the people of the two countries. The Embassy of Bahrain in Washington held a ceremony on the occasion of the Kingdom's celebration of its national days, which coincides with the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the United States. The ceremony was in the presence of a number of senior officials from the military, diplomatic and political corps and representatives of the U.S. Senate and House and a number of friends of the Kingdom. During the ceremony, the Ambassador of Bahrain to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, conveyed his highest congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the royal family and to the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the National Day in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed al-Fatih in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The ambassador expressed his pride in the level of Bahraini-U.S. friendship strategic partnerships that is keen on maintaining regional and international peace and security under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Bahrain and the United States have always stood together to uphold our shared values, to protect the security and stability of the region, and to advance the interests of our people. The Bahraini and the American people share many values, like those of openness, freedom of enterprise. We have a common belief in opportunity and in building a better future for ourselves and our children. And we recognize that advancing such principles is the surest way to spread security and prosperity in our world. Like the United States, and in line with the vision of our leadership, the Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to peace, coexistence, mutual respect, and tolerance. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, everyone for joining us today for this intimate event. Tonight, we are commemorating the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the 50th anniversary of our formal relations with the United States. But to fully appreciate this relationship, one needs to look back 130 years when our two people first began working together. Over the century, this relationship has grown in size and nature. And as we all know, relationships can take many forms, but not every relationship develops into both a partnership and a friendship at the same time. However, due to the visionary leadership of His Majesty King Hamid. This relationship has done just that by remaining unwaveringly respectful and mutually beneficial. Throughout the decades, both countries have sincerely prioritized one another's security, stability, and citizenry. Each country has taken action time and again in respect to the other's economy and prosperity. Tonight, we are here to recognize not a mere piece of paper that formalized this relationship, but rather to honor the people, the bold authors behind those initial agreements, the trailblazers that have brought us success after success, and those both here and in Bahrain, empowering us to an even brighter future. With leaders like His Royal Highness Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that brighter future is not only in sight, but in reach. 
So we are here this evening to highlight those from the United States that are so grateful to have made Bahrain their home. We are also here to celebrate those of us from Bahrain that have had the good fortune to study or spend some time living here in the United States. One thing that has been proven repeatedly is the strength of our relationship. Our greatest achievements have been those conceived and nurtured together. While necessity plays and played somewhat of a hand, making it evident that the signing of a defense cooperation agreement three decades ago would benefit all humanity. Other benchmarks of our relationship were products of people wanting a better life and better opportunities for all. Both the Bilateral Investment Treaty and the US-Bahrain Free Trade Agreement were measures taken by two people so evidently desiring to do more together. And when Bahrain, increasingly guided by His Majesty the King, chose the right over the popular, we stepped forth as another foundational pillar on which to build a true and prosperous peace throughout the region with the Abraham Accords. Both Bahrain and the United States have taken turns demonstrating a shared desire to be an active participant in this relationship. With the launching of the annual strategic dialogue last year and the designation as a major security partner, our two nations prove to be standing fast at one another's side more firmly by the day. So please join me as we hear from others of the achievement, the dialogues, and opportunities that have touched so many lives throughout both our lands. Thank you for being here. The ambassador of Bahrain to Brazil, Badr Abbas Al Halebi, hosted a luncheon on the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national days. In commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior officials in Brazil, including ministers, congressmen, and representatives of the Brazilian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 held a press conference to highlight measures taken to mitigate COVID-19. The task force announced that following the government executive committee's approval, the kingdom will adopt the yellow alert level from the 19th of December 2021 until the 31st of January 2022. The task force noted that the measure is precautionary given to the Omicron variant has not spread in Bahrain and that the decision has been taken in line as a protective and planning measure. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health and member of the task force, Dr. Walid al Mana, commended His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for receiving a COVID-19 booster shot and setting an example. He urged eligible individuals to go to a health center to get vaccinated and receive a booster shot without making an appointment after which they may continue to follow the green alert levels measures. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital and team member of the task force, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, highlighted that the kingdom is one of the first countries to, intru to introduce a proactive a precautionary measure and that the adoption of the yellow alert will be reviewed as further information becomes available. The consultant of infectious diseases and internal diseases at Salmaniya Medical Complex and member of the task force, Dr. Jamila Salman, highlighted that protecting public health is the task force priority when reviewing decisions or making recommendations. Dr. Salman urged parents to take the initiative to vaccinate their children.